Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading. It will be for July 2021 for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you well, Scorpio. Uh, I've got a bit of a problem with my voice. I nearly lost it over the weekend, so just bear with me. Um, and it won't resonate with everybody this reading. These are purely messages. Uh, so just take what resonates with you as always, Scorpio. And the reading can resonate from when it's released. So bear that in mind. Okay, so what do we have for our lovely Scorpios, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. July 2021. What is the message for Scorpio? Okay. I like this card. We have strength. See that? Strength. So this says, strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone, as we're always with you. Soul power. Soul power, that energy. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message from spirit for Scorpio, thank you. July 2021, okay. So we have goat, act from your innate wisdom, from within, answers from within, guidance from within. We have Archangel Paulimiek, I don't know how to pronounce that, Paulimiek, and Pan, god of nature. There we are. And I'm going to use these cards. I've not used them for a long time. This is the Angels and Ancestors Oracle Deck by Kyle Gray. Lovely cards. So what do we have for Scorpio? And they're coming out really fast this month. Uh, we have Night. Be brave and honest. Be brave and honest. And we've also got the Strength card as well here. This is about Know Your Power soul power okay Scorpio so I'm going to pull three cards and we'll see what we have for you what is the message from spirit for Scorpio angel spirits guides and it will be July 2021 what does Scorpio need to hear the most message from spirit for Scorpio please thank you message from spirit for Scorpio thank you I've got um, a few cards, so we'll put them down. We have the Queen of Cups, the World, and the Eight of Coins, Scorpio, bottom of the deck. We have the Seven of Wands. I feel in this situation, the Queen of Cups, I mean, this can be you. Can be a card of cancer, um, male or female energy, but I'm feeling in this situation, this, this can be you, Scorpio. Um, somebody who is finding new happiness, um, finding emotional stability in a situation, finding their flow. There's also an energy of reconnecting to your own identity here as well. Who you truly are, your soul power, she connects to her intuition and she flows with that intuition. She moves with the intuition. She's guided by pure intuition. You know, that is the Queen of Cups energy, highly, highly intuitive energy. Um, now, for some of you, it feels like this is to do with money. I'm feeling money, career, finance more than anything. I mean, it can be about working. It might be for some of you, this can be about having strength to face up to something or to face something in your power and overcome it. This can be about working hard at a relationship and overcoming some kind of challenge in love, in a relationship. That could be with a mother, uh, could be with um, a family member, friendship, a love, you know, a loved one. Call it what you will. So that can be this energy as well, Scorpio. But for some of you, this is to do with money career as well with that Eight of Pentacles being here. Um now, for some, this can be about, I mean, the cup's energy is happy energy. It's heart energy, something that you absolutely want. And this is something that brings emotional stability back in a situation. 
You could be dealing with HR, a people person as well, um, somebody, a leader or an intermediary, call it what you will. Uh, so this can be HR as well. This is another kind of energy that I'm getting for you. Because what this, whatever this person is doing, they're bringing some kind of opportunity or something that's very close to your heart, something that you really want, something that's bringing happiness and joy and emotional stability back to your life. And the world card is a card of stepping through one phase into another. But the world card is a reason to celebrate. It is a massive celebration energy. It's the big celebration because a massive cycle is completing. And it's taken a lot of strength. I feel for some of you this is something that you are absolutely in search of. But for some of you there is some significant achievement coming your way as well. Uh, the world card is a victory, it's a goal achievement, it's a success card, worldly success, so it has a material significance too. And it's, it's somebody who has overcome the challenges and they're claiming the goal, the victory, what they've been working towards. So in this case it is money career finances. Now, this can be a card of being recognised, um, bringing material gain into your life in money, career, finances, working hard, building something. I mean, you could have got new qualifications, experience to make yourself more attractive in terms of business, career, finances. But there's material gain available to you. This is somebody recognising what you do well, Scorpio, as well. Uh, this person is completely aligned to their work, their job their business, call it what you will, they do this well. They, they carve out this pentacle well, perfectly. And because they're aligned to, where, to what they do, they bring success their way. Um, so there's definitely an energy if somebody has, if you've been challenged in terms of money, career, finances, I feel for some of you that there could be some goal achievement coming your way as well. And it's restoring some kind of emotional stability, you're finding your flow again. Because the Seven of Wands is a card of overcoming challenge, uh, seeing something through, persevering. And even though this feels overwhelming, oh my goodness, it's never going to end. You know, the odds on this feel insurmountable. We have a win. So whatever this situation is, I definitely feel in this situation, Scorpio, there is some win coming your way. Now, the lover's card just came out. This could be a change for you, your relationship. Uh, some harmony being restored here. It can also be, like I said, challenges in love. Being prepared to uh, put your energy and work at something, persevere with something, to bring back emotional stability and draw a line under whatever challenged you. You could have been challenged in money, career, finances. You could have been challenged within the relationship. And this is working through, working through a situation in order to overcome it. But I feel in this situation, with this being your message from spirit, there is emotional stability and balance coming back to the situation. Like I said, there could be some compassionate, caring gesture. Um, again, so money, career or love, romance, relationships. Uh, there's a kind of commercial element sometimes to this card, which is why I'm saying both. Okay, so let's pull your final card. What do we have for Scorpio, please? I feel that whatever this is, there is some significant win, some, some significant achievement and a major completion coming your way. So we have let the animals on earth support you. Feel that unconditional love, number 41, lovely energy. And we have be creative, look for ways to build, grow and manifest, number 36. Yeah, exactly. Um, very powerful, Scorpio. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful uh, month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.